here's the question I've always had. And, uh, why is it that uh, you had the foresight, or how did you have the foresight, to sell the Yahoo stock at a time when the markets were going up? People thought Yahoo would be going up uh, forever. You sold your Yahoo stock and cashed out before Yahoo went down by 90%. Well, I actually hedged it, right? So remember I mentioned that I had traded stocks between the time I sold right. my first company, did really, really, really well. And I watched complete industries just skyrocket and then collapse. You know, there were, there were companies when Dell Computer went public, there, there were 10 other PC companies that crashed and burned. I'd seen it multiple times and I made money going up and I made money shorting them on the way down. And so I was very clear to Goldman Sachs at the time, that I wanted to, to do um, a hedge. And so the first thing I did, because I had a six month moratorium where I couldn't do anything. And so I took literally almost every penny I had, 20 some million dollars um, and bought um, puts on an index, an internet index. And I lost all my money on that, on that hedge. Literally just all gone, which was good because that got me to the point where Yahoo was still a high flyer and I sold covered calls and bought puts over the next three years and that hedge saved me and actually made me money. But you, you lost the first 20 million? Yep, gladly. What did, your, what did your wife say? Oh, no, I wasn't married at the time. <laughs> and it was, it was, you know, but the whole, but it was timed out right. So I got through the six months, even though I lost the money on that hedge, we, I already knew approximately you know, based off of where the Yahoo stock was, how I'd be able to, and what the volatility levels were, how I was going to be able to sell calls on my Yahoo stock and use that money to buy, um, buy puts right. on um, the Yahoo stock. And when the stock collapsed, my puts were worth a fortune.